We are now at the MG exhibit at the Auto Expo. You can see that's the image of the Hector. That's because they have revealed the pricing for the Hector facelift. So the walk around of the Hector facelift is already out on OD Mag. Do check it out if you are interested in the new Hector. The pricing is in the zone of 14.72 lakh to 22.42 lakh for the top end variant. But we are not here to talk about the Hector. We are here to talk about the MG4 hatchback. It's already attracting a lot of crowd here at the MG exhibit and I'm going to attempt to walk in through all of that and give you a closer look. So that is the face of the car. It's a rather good looking model. It debuted in 2022 and now we are told that MG is considering this model for India. So this is the MG4 hatchback. I'm going to go over to the other side and uh, try and give you a slightly wider look at the vehicle so you get an idea of what it is like and since we already have someone sitting here let me quickly just show you what the leg room is like what the headroom is like does it look comfortable in there not bad right so this is a hatchback and what you will like about this vehicle is how low it is so MG and uh, their parents SAIC, they have a battery technology which they call the Rubik's Cube battery pack, right? So it's a very thin battery pack. Uh, I think the uh, for the lowest capacity battery, the tallest height that they have managed uh, for the lowest capacity battery is about 11 centimeters for the battery stack. So it's a really thin battery pack. That's the point. Because of that, they are able, uh, the designers are able to make this a really low car. It's got a center of gravity of 490 millimeters so you can understand what I'm trying to tell you it's a low car and it's pretty powerful too I will come to those figures in a bit let me show you the tail end I think the tail end is the prettiest angle for the car the front end looks good too but I really like how this uh, spoiler comes out and the way the tail lights are designed it all looks quite nice to me of course no tailpipes it is an all electric so like I said, it debuted in 2022. Uh, it has two options. One is a single motor setup and that's a rear wheel driven car. And that puts out somewhere around 200 PS of power if I'm not wrong. And then there is the all wheel drive as well, which will put out 449 PS and go from not to 100 in under four seconds. That's quick. And with such a low car, that low center of gravity, it should handle really well right so sorry just passing through uh, yeah so the battery pack is for the uh, for the higher invariants is a 64 kilowatt hour and like I said the power outputs depending on the motor configuration a dual motor or a single motor can be anywhere between 200 to 449 PS lot of crowd around the car anyway so I'm now going to attempt to get in yeah so that is the cabin for you you can see there are two screens one is a tiny infotainment right behind the steering wheel instrumentation sorry and then you have the infotainment right here uh, the layout of the inf uh, infotainment very similar to what we've seen on the Gloucester and then you have that big wireless charging pad there, a rotary knob for the drive selector and then charging ports down at the bottom and another charging port right here. And that's for your gadget of course. As far as the car goes, there are five charging options for this which includes the portable charger. It also includes the AC, DC charging options. So yes, there are multiple charging options available for the car. and. Uh, because of that battery pack that I'm talking about, uh, it's uh, it's also this car is also based on the uh, scalable electronic platform uh, from from SAIC. I may be getting the term wrong, but it's a new electronic platform. It's a modular platform for EVs from SAIC, and uh, the charging times for that battery pack are actually quite uh, fast because it's capable of charging at 800 volts, and if that's the option that you choose, uh, you can get with five minutes of charging. 200 kilometers of driving range 200 kilometers right so that's phenomenal and then 
uh, up to 80% of the charge can be, 0 to 80% of charging can happen in a mere 15 minutes. Double that for the battery pack that only supports the 400 uh, volt charging, uh, that's the lower end uh, at, of the MG4 and you're looking at a 100 kilometer range in 5 minutes or a 0 to 100, uh, 0 to 80 uh, percent charging time of about half an hour. So that's the MG4 and they are gauging the response of this car for the Indian market but I have a very strong feeling that they are already convinced that they want to bring this car to India because out in Europe it is already quite successful. Of course I am worried about that low ground clearance, I am worried about uh, you know how low this car is but uh, this is something that MG is likely to consider for the Indian market and that's also because uh, while I understand that uh, you know premium hatchbacks have a very limited uh, you know uh, have a very limited market so to say uh, this still has a lot of potential for India is what I think with the kind of figures that it has. We've already seen the Kia EV6 get off to a brilliant start and I think the MG4 could become a very good addition to the MG portfolio for the Indian audience as well. Let me know what do you think, what are your thoughts about this vehicle and if you have any questions do put them in the comments below and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.